most of us love playing with Arduino and Raspberry Pi during free time, right? Of course, that's what we do. Along with Arduino, we'll definitely use various sensors such as IR sensors, PAR sensors, ultrasonic sensors to name a few. Recently, Raspberry Pi Pico was introduced, which was a turning point for many of the hobbyists. But the problem here is, most of today's boards are not 5V tolerant and almost all the boards work under 33 volt. but most of the sensors that we are used to work on 5V. But does that mean we can't use our old sensors anymore? Not really. Like I said, almost all of the microcontrollers work under 3.3V logic these days. Most of the devices that work under 3.3V do not like being provided with 5V and will be burned in seconds. So, what can we do about it? Well, there are multiple ways for solving this problem. One is to use simple voltage divider using two resistors. That would definitely work for simple circuits. But for every sensor's input, you will need to add two resistors. What if we have two or more sensors? Luckily, there is a way. There are logic level shifters that will convert 5V to 3.3V. One such IC is 74LVC245. This chip solves the problem of connecting and sending data from 5V logic level devices to a 3.3V logic level microcontroller such as Raspberry Pi and Arduino. This chip stands in between Arduino and the sensors and converts the 5V signals from the sensors to 3.3V which can be directly fed to Arduino. 74LVC245 can be used with digital signals and works great with SPI, Serial, Parallel Bus and other logical interfaces. I decided to make a tiny PCB which I can use as a logic level converter as well as a regulated voltage source for all my projects. Using this port, I could power up the microcontroller board and all the power hungry modules like sensors and switches and safely feed the step down voltage to the microcontroller GPIO pins. I have always been interested in electronics and technology and making my own PCBs for my projects. I use Altium Designer to draw the circuit and design the PCB. It's a powerful tool that can be used to design and create your own PCBs for your project as well as complex and multi-layer PCBs for industrial use. I will leave the link to the free trial version in the description. Also, if you are planning to buy it, there is an awesome 30% discount by purchasing it using the link below. So, do make use of it. Working with this IC is pretty simple. You can draw the circuit in a matter of minutes. Simply connect VCC to your logic level you want to convert to. If you are converting 5V to 3.3V, connect 3.3V to VCC. Ground connects to ground and OE to ground to enable the chip and connect DIR to VCC that is 3.3V. You can connect an input voltage at pin V. It can be any voltage between 7V and 32V. You can connect a 9V battery or a DC voltage adapter. There are indicator LEDs at various points for easy troubleshooting. There are 5V headers, 3.3V headers as well as ground headers which you can use for powering up the microcontroller and sensors as well. Once the circuit was finished and tested, I designed a compact PCB using Altium where I can fix all the components neatly. Here you can see a routing is on both sides of the board that means it's a dual layer PCB. I ordered PCBs from PCBWay. PCBWay is a PCB manufacturer specializing in PCB prototyping, low volume production and neat and tidy PCB assembly. To order your PCBs from PCBWay, go to PCBWay website and fill in the basic board details in the instant order form. From there, you will be directed to a form where you can provide more elaborate board details. Update your board information in the PCB specification screen and on the next screen, you should be able to upload your GUBA file and submit it for a review. Once the review is completed, all that is left to do is add to cart, make the payment and wait for your PCBs to arrive. Once you get all the components and the PCBs, it's time for you to solder them together. Solder all the components onto the board and make sure to check the polarity of the components before soldering. After soldering, the PCB looks like this. Now, these 8 pins provide steady 5V and these 8 pins provide 3.3V and these pins are ground pins. Now, if you connect the 5V signals to A pins, you will get 3.3V at corresponding B pins. For example, if you are connecting 5V at A1, you should be getting 3.3V at B1. Now, we will check that by connecting 5V in A1 and 0V in A5. So, that is giving us 3.3V out at B1 and 0V at B5. From now on, you can use this kind of logic level converters for conveniently connecting sensors or other 5V digital signals to 3.3V compatible boards such as Raspberry Pi boards or newer generation of Arduino boards. 
If you have any doubts on this, make sure you ask it in the comments down below. Thanks a lot for watching this guys. See you in the next video.